Hey guys, it's Zane, and today I have a very special three-part series for you guys. This is a three-part mock consisting of, it's a fire dozer and transport, consisting of a tractor, a dozer tender, and the dozer itself, along with the trailer, which will group with the semi. Anyways, let's get started. So in this particular showcase, we're going to take a closer look at the transporter itself, which is inspired by a Mercedes-Benz Zetros 6x6 and a generic detachable gooseneck low boy trailer with a lifting rear third axle. Let's get started. I said that already. Crap. <laughs> Let's take a closer look. So the Mercedes-Benz Zetros is a very complex truck to try to model in LEGO, at least in a city-like scale. I've seen a few people try it, but I've only seen one, one attempt, at least design-wise, at 7 wide, and personally, I didn't like it that much. However, you know, if the builder is happy with it, go f good for them. Anyways, this was my first attempt, and while there definitely are some areas I can improve on, I'm reasonably happy with it. So the front grille is probably one of the most iconic parts of the Zetros. On the real truck, there's an angle in the grille, and I tried to get this to work with the, the lights kind of just, and the blank space, just kind of suggesting it filling in. This is, yes, there's a lot of odd and even building in here. It also ends up being pretty weak because this whole front part is actually only attached on two studs, including the front axle. And as you can see, it, it likes to it likes to sag, even though the tires are mounted in front of the, the mount points, but just not by much. I could definitely, I really want to try to figure out a better way to attach that. Another thing that this truck kind of lacks is the, the hood on the real thing has a slight slant. Not much, but a slight slant. Other aspects that are pretty fun, I was really happy with the tail light. These the headlights are a very unique part of the truck. I was very happy with how these replicated. Wish I had these in dark bluish gray, or I wish I could do the whole bumper in black, to be completely honest. This is all, I also do have a, the suggestion of the snorkel. It's not the best, but it, it's the best I could do. I was trying a bunch of different stuff, and this is the best I came up with. At least for now. The cab of the truck is an extended cab, so you use actually seating for, in the Lego version, three minifigures, and it, four if you technically did some armor moving. In real life, these cabins can seat up to seven people, depending on the configuration. I don't know with firefighter gear how that might get compressed down. There's some other basic aspects to the, to the top, though. I do have a light bar on this, centered lights, mirrors, nothing too special or fancy. The cabin's actually probably the most basic part of the build. Underneath the cabin, there are some basic details, including there's a bunch of various different tanks and details, just a ton of greebling as is standard on models, and generally just gotta put a bunch of greebling in there. This side's a lot more simple, but it also, but they have the exhaust coming out. This truck sometimes has the exhaust coming out the back, sometimes you do it on the side. It's common to actually use as military configuration, so I think that's where that comes from, so I just did that. The rear of the truck is probably one of the most detailed I've ever done, at least for me. There is a small rack, because there, on this side there are stairs that you can use to get up into it. There is a gray area surface, and then there's a spare tire hanging out here. Then there is the hitch area itself, and the tail lights too, which I was actually fairly happy with this particular look in the end. The hitch is actually these two clips, and I use a ball joint. It's a trick from I learned from uh, Lego, the first rendition, I don't think they've done a second one yet, of uh, Kylo Ren's shuttle. So that was actually a very, the locks, the lock, the handles or the wings in place. It actually is a very strong connection. It actually makes a really good hitch. I'm going to bring the trailer in actually speaking about that because we're done talking about the truck. So simply due to space, I'm doing the trailer separately. It's a, again a detachable news gooseneck, which I'll show the detach, 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 detaching and attachment mechanism in a second. But on this, there's a very heavily reinforced front arm. It's much beefier than any version I've built to date. There are marking flags that indicate a wide load. And on the rear of the truck, there's a very cool aspect that's actually pretty cool. So there's some of these trailers have this, they're a droppable, they're a lift, lifting rear axle. Now because of the flags and because of the oversized load that doesn't obviously have oversized load sign on it, it can't hinge all the way, but the idea is this will hinge up back onto the trailer bed. And then you have a two axle trailer, so you have a shorter trailer and also one less pair of tires getting worn out. But you can load this down and get extra load bearing. I don't really know if this needs it, particularly because the, 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 the um, oh my gosh, the, the uh, bulldozer I modeled after isn't that big and heavy, but I don't know. I thought it'd be really cool to build, so I just built one. So the detaching mechanism is fairly simple. There is this element that slides inside, and in this Technic axle, which will slide into holes depending on what side it gets pushed through. 
That's actually what this bar is for right here, and it just pushes back and forth a half a stud. The thing that just rolled off the table is this little Technic L bar that just allows me to push it back through once this lock's engaged. And when engaged, this thing is freaking durable. I was very impressed with how much weight it can actually hold, and it's realistic as this is actually how these trailers work. Of course, it's being blocked, so it doesn't want to slide in, but you get the idea. Anyways, though, that's it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this really cool mock, one of these really cool mock showcases, whatever part you're actually watching here. As always, don't forget to comment any thoughts below, like if you do, and subscribe if you want to see more. As always, happy building, and bye for now.